This is Pioneer's DMHW 2770 NEX. This is an in-dash AM-FM digital media receiver with a 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen. It's compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay when connected to a compatible iPhone. It's also compatible with wireless Android Auto when connected to a compatible Android based phone. The DMHW 2770NX has three pairs of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The USB port can be used to connect your phone and play back MP3 or FLAC music and other high resolution audio as well as MP4 videos and still images. And the system features built in Bluetooth for both hands free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right, let's pop this open. And there's quite a few things in this box here. Here we'll start off with the wire harness. And this is how we get all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver over to the vehicle, like power and ground speakers, all sorts of those connections. Uh, next is the Bluetooth microphone. And we'll use the Bluetooth microphone here to make hands-free phone calls and give commands to wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for very flexible installation. Next up, we have the uh, wireless remote control. There's the wireless remote control included in the box. And we have a series of wire harnesses here. This is the RCA input and output wire harness. So three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amps and a video output. Next up is the auxiliary input uh, wire harness. And by the way, that is an audio and video uh, auxiliary input wire harness. Next up is the steering wheel remote control input. So if you want to operate your steering wheel controls through a third party adapter, you'll plug that in here. And this is the dedicated backup camera input right here. Uh, next up, we have the Sirius XM input. This will operate with Sirius XM when you add on the SXV300 tuner from Sirius XM. And we have the USB extension cable. Now the USB port is on the back of this receiver. And so we include a USB uh, extension cable in the box so you can bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. Then we have some install screws here. And we have a couple of install clips, some wire clips to hold wires in place. And finally, here is the GPS antenna. Now, the GPS antenna is super important for the operation of wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Uh, let's see. Finally, we have the um, quick start guide there. There's the quick start guide. And we have the warranty card. And please remember, you can download a complete copy of the owner's manual for this product right onto your cell phone from PioneerElectronics.com. All right, there's the warranty card. Now let's get the receiver up out of the box here. Okay, there it is. This is a digital media receiver designed to work with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. That means it does not play CDs or DVDs. On the front panel of the DMHW 2770 NEX, the operation keys are built into the display on this button panel on the left side. The volume control is here. The home key is here. The voice activation key is here. And this is a digital media receiver and does not play CDs. You'll do most of your interaction with the in-dash receiver with a 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen. On the back panel of the DMHW 2770NEX, we'll start off with the AM-FM antenna from the vehicle, and that'll plug in right here. The blue jack here is for the included GPS antenna. GPS is used to support wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, along with many different location-based apps. You'll plug the Bluetooth microphone in right here. The Bluetooth microphone is used for making hands-free Bluetooth phone calls and giving commands to wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. Next, we have a block of four white jacks here. On the top left is the jack for the dedicated backup camera input. 
The Pioneer DMHW 2770 Nex is designed to operate with the optional NDBC8 backup camera from Pioneer. Also part of the top left white jack is the steering wheel remote control input. You can use your steering wheel controls to operate the in-dash receiver with the use of an optional third-party steering wheel control adapter. Additionally, there's an external mute, and this can be used to mute the in-dash receiver with a temporary ground signal from an external device. The white jack on the top right is for adding on the optional SXV300 or a newer tuner from Sirius XM. The white jack on the bottom left is for the auxiliary input. This is a 3.5 millimeter jack that can be used for both audio and video input. The white jack on the bottom right is for the RCA outputs. There are three pairs of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They are set up as front, rear, and subwoofer outputs. And please note these are 2 volt RCA outputs. There is also an RCA output for an additional monitor. And this is where we'll plug in the power and ground wire harness connected to the vehicle. The Pioneer DMHW2770 Nex has a built-in amplifier that's designed to operate up to four speakers in your vehicle. And here is the USB Type-A port that can be used for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The USB port can also be used for music, movies, and still images through a USB flash drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring the USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. And that is Pioneer's DMHW2770 Nex, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto in-dash receiver. And what's in the box?